Hi guys, I want to make this V necklace today. It's a very simple stitch and I'm sorry to show it to you sideways because it's very difficult to, uh, well, if I put it like this, it doesn't fit in the camera, but you can see that it's a V necklace. For this you will need 6mm bicones, 8mm bicones and 10mm bicones. Now, I don't exactly know how many 6mm bicones you will need because everybody's neck is a different size. I got a very tiny neck. So I got so I have 13 sets of 6mm. That's 13 times 4 beads plus 1 at the end. And I got the same amount of that on the other side. I can tell you, however, how I made the increase in the sizes. I needed 8 8 millimeter beads for to increase the sizes and I needed four, five, six, seven, eight, ten millimeter beads. So this is the ten millimeter beads and then these are the eight millimeter beads and the rest of them is six millimeter beads. So since I already used fifty-two beads on one side and fifty-two beads on the other side, that means you will need more than a hundred C, uh, six millimeter bicones. So don't start this with less than I would say 150 just to be on the safe side. Six millimeter beads. Of course if you want to you can also use bigger uh, beads. Uh, I used eight millimeters and ten millimeters but you can just do it all the way in six millimeter or you can increase the size if you like that uh, the way that looks where that got size got increased. If you like the way that looks, then I suggest you get the 8mm and the 10mm uh, bicones. And you need to start this off at least with one and a half arm spans wide of thread. Okay, let's get started. You also need some silver seed beads, doesn't really matter what size. I use Miyuki seed bead size 1108 and we're going to start off with the 6mm and the 110 seed beads to begin with. You also will need the nylon thread, 0.25 millimeters. So first we're going to start off with 8 seed beads on your thread. And then we're going to push them all down to the middle of your thread. Get the threads together and just go hold that and just pull that all the way down. And when that's in the middle, just roll them over your finger. And go through that again so that you're basically looping through all these seed beads. You can only do three at a time or four, or maybe you're lucky, go through all of them. And then you'll have this, and what you need to do is go through that one seed bead again so that your thread comes out on both sides. Pull it together and just make sure that that little loop is now in the middle of your threads, okay? And then we're gonna start off with one six millimeter bicone on your right thread. Just put it like this, right thread, a seat bead, a six millimeter bicone, and then on the left thread, put a six millimeter. Bicone and 
and just put a seat bead on there on the left side and just cross your threads in there. We made a little triangle there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a 6mm bicone on the right thread, a silver seed bead, and a 6mm bicone on the right thread. And we're going to do the same on the left thread. Pick up a 6mm bicone, a silver seed bead, and a 6mm bicone. And then again we're going to cross that in a silver seed bead. there. You got one set of four and a half. So we're going to pick up the right thread again. Put a six millimeter bicon on there, a seed bead, a six millimeter bicone, and on the other thread, the left thread, do the same again. Six millimeter bicone, Silver seed bead, six millimeter bicone. And then we're going to cross that in a silver seed bead again. So now you've got two sets and a half. You're going to continue doing a 6mm bicone, a seat bead, a 6mm bicone on the right thread and on the other thread the same and then keep crossing them in a seat bead. And you need to do that until you get about 30, maybe 15. Now I did, let me see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen complete sets with, after the crossing, two more six and two seed beads. And this is big enough for me. I don't know if that will be big enough for you. Make sure your loop is on the inner side of the circle so you don't cut that around like that because now we're going to make, make the V. So this loop has got to be on the inside of the circle. My loop is on the inside, right? I'm going to take that out of the way now. And I'm going to show you how to make that bigger now. I'm going to start with 8 millimeter on the right side and an 8 millimeter on the left side. and cross them threads in a silver seed bead. And we're going to do that again, 8 millimeter on both sides, and we're going to do that again. But this time we're going to take the 8 millimeter bicone, then the seed bead, and another 8 millimeter bicone. And then we're going to take the left thread, do an 8mm bicone, a seed bead, and an 8mm bicone. And we're going to cross in a silver seed bead. And then we're going to do two more 8 millimeters, one on the right with a seed bead and one on the left also with a seed bead. And now we're 
going to increase the size again. Picking up a 10 millimeter bicon on the right side and a 10 millimeter bicon on the left side. And we're going to cross those threads with the silver seed bead. thread. We're going to take a 10 millimeter. We're going to take the silver seed bead, another 10 millimeter, another silver seed bead, and one more 10 millimeter. And on the left thread, we're going to do one 10 millimeter. And then we're going to cross that in a silver seed bead. So you got three bicones of 10 millimeter on your right thread and only one on your left thread before you cross in a seed bead. There we go. And there's your point, your V point. So I'm going to turn this around a bit. because now we're going to work our way up again. We're going to do that with one 10 millimeter on your right thread and one 10 millimeter on your left thread. And then we're going to add silver seed beads on both sides. And when that is all set, we're going to decrease in size again. So we're going to pick up our 8 millimeters now. One on the right side. And one on the left side. And then we're going to cross that both threads in the silver seed bead. So now basically we just have to mirror the other side. We already did the two, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six more eight millimeters on there. So here we go. One. seed bead and two and then cross that and the last two silver seed bead. And after this comes six again, so you might as well put that on there. Six millimeter. One silver seed bead. And a six millimeter. And then cross. Now you have to go all the way back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen for me. 
and I got half of one. So when we get back to the top, I will show you how to finish up this necklace. I've now added my last set, my 13th set of four. So we're gonna finish it up now, take a right thread, put a six millimeter bicone on there. And then we're gonna take the seat bead that is on the left thread and push that right thread in there, like crossing the threads in that seat bead. There, and turn it around a bit, because now we need to add seven seed beads on the right thread. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the other thread has to go through all these seat beads. So, I'm picking up the left thread, pushing it into the seat beads. It goes only into four, so push down the, or it goes into three seat beads, so push that down a little bit. And I go through the other ones. I got another three, and push that down a little bit. And go into that. Let's see, bead. There. Now, the right thread needs to go through this middle seat bead again. So that goes in there. And then the left thread also needs to go into that same seed bead. Get those other seed beads out of the way. Because we're gonna tie up now. It may be a little hard to do, but it should be able to work. And if you can't do it with your fingers, try holding it, your thread with a plier, to push that through. Flat-nosed pliers will always work. There we go. Now I'm going to put all everything tight together. And make sure that there is no leftover thread here. So everything needs to be really tight. There we go. We're going to take the right thread and take it down the bicone like that. But that's a little hard, so I'm going to turn it around. Do it like that. going to go down on a seat bead and a bicone and then I'm going to take the other thread and I'm going down the bicone into the seat bead that's in the middle here. And then my threads meet each other underneath this bicone. So I'm going to do four knots. Three and 
four and one thread goes back up in this bike comb. Pull that knot a little bit out of the way. Go back in that bike comb. If it goes straight into the seat beat, that's fine too. Just pull that knot in that bike on pop. You'll feel that pop. And then just pull both threads again so that knot is really nice and tight. Go into the seat bead and the bike cone. There, leave your thread there for a second. Now we need to go back with the other thread into the seat bead and out of this bike cone that's underneath it. So, and if this doesn't work with your fingers, then just try it with the pliers. the seat bead and then down that bike cone and you do this because you want to be as far away as possible from that knot just in case you pull it you don't want to cut through your knot if that knot comes out again <coughs> and this way I'm gonna pull that push that uh, I'm gonna cut this one first I'm just going to pull it, cut, and I'm going to take that one, cut, and there we have it. One V necklace. All we have to do now is put on our jump rings on these loops with our clasps and we're good to go.